Hi guys, welcome to Sunrise Radio, team of Bombay, Miri John. Welcome to London, Miri John. <laughs> How's the day been for all of you guys? Hope it's uh, been fun. Yeah. yeah, it's Good. been hot and fun. Yes, hot. well, yeah. lucky it's been hot actually. Uh, not for Very, us, not for us. <laughs> from for us, Bombay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we have Kasim, Shujat, Avinash, and Ritesh. Um, so much to talk about on this uh, show. Firstly, congratulations on the trailer being. Excellent, being really, really good. Uh, Kasim, tell me about the creative process and how it's been uh, in the lead up to making this show. It all started with uh, Mr. Hussain Zaidi coming with a fictional story to us. Mm -hmm. uh, we thought it gave us a great opportunity to sort of uh, get into a crime story that sort of was set in just the pre-independence. Mm -hmm where, like Ritesh keeps saying, it, it was the birth of uh, the underworld mm -hmm. in India, organized crime, so to speak. Uh, from there on, we sort of got in Renzil, Shujat, all our writers, mm -hmm. got into uh, a writer's room. Uh, great process of, of uh, you know, shaping up characters. Uh, Shujat's done a great job sort of right from the start to, to mm -hmm. set things up and, and take it for, uh, further. Uh, there was great research going into sort of every set that we built and, and costumes, etc, etc. Mm -hmm. So it's been a great process. Yeah, I mean, it's looking really, really rustic and very real, uh, so to speak. Should you, let's talk about um, the direction and the process of how it's been with such a wonderful cast uh, right. that you guys have on board. How's the whole experience been for you? <laughs> No, the experience has been uh, uh, emotionally, uh, physically and mentally draining. Of course, just to give you a bit of a background, uh, the show was born out of uh, troubled times. We had uh, to endure two deadly waves of COVID. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we had created a mammoth set mm -hmm. uh, because it's set in a period yep, yep. of 60s and 70s and 80s. And um, we had to scrap the set and mm. reconstruct it twice over from scratch. Uh, because of monsoons in uh, Mumbai and uh, and then we were also hit by a cyclone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I mean, Gosh. yeah, if that wasn't uh, enough. <laughs> You've been through it all. Uh, yeah. yeah. So the experience has been, uh, you know, it's, be, it's been fantastic. It's been a great learning experience. And of course, it couldn't have been done without the grit and the determination of uh, each and every person involved uh, mm -hmm. in the project. Uh, from, uh, you know, uh, my amazing, amazing producers to back up something uh, like this for half a decade. Uh, my actors were a really tough time because uh, this was shot over a period of uh, three years. Wow. And every time uh, we used to, uh, we had a stoppage and then to go back again, uh, the first stoppage happened for a year. Mm. And um, to come back into character, come mm. back into that shape and, mm. you know, restart. Uh, it was telling, it was, uh, you know, it was telling. Uh, but the entire crew, mm. uh, phenomenal production uh, uh, crew, I couldn't have asked for more. All my uh, head of departments, my director of photography, my costumer, uh, hair makeup stylist, the amount of work the production designer put in, in terms of the research and the elements uh, that had to go in. It was fun. I mean, uh, this is, uh, we are filmmakers and this is who we are and this is what we do. So. Yeah. It was great creating this world, and uh, I personally had a terrific, terrific time. You ride through the emotions. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, did you at one point, at, or at any point of, you know, the hard stuff that you went through, did you ever think, okay, should we just leave it? Let's just <laughs> stop, and let's just... No, actually, uh, 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 the thing is that, you know, each one of us really believed in the story. Mm. And we were coming from a, a, a you know, individually very personal space mm -hmm. because everyone wanted to really tell uh, the story. It's an, uh, also, see, you have to understand cinematically, it's, it's an opportunity to tell something like this, yeah. right? You don't get stories like this mm. uh, every day, especially for me, for a filmmaker, you know. And I never, it never crossed my mind to uh, that, you know, or it's ever going to kind of stop. Of course, nature was playing its own mm. course. But uh, besides that, I don't think any of us had any doubt, uh, even for instance, uh, that this is not going to you know, happen or we should just let it go. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm glad you didn't because yeah. it's looking <laughs> yes. really good. Uh, Avinash, moving on to you, I think last time we spoke was many years ago yeah. for <coughs> Tu Hai Mera Sunday. That right. was mm. 2016, maybe? 16, yeah, yes, I that think was 16. a long, long time long ago. Time and back, yeah. your the, the projects that you have done since then has just been phenomenal. It's Thank been you. so wonderful to see you grow 
as an actor. How are you feeling about all the projects that you've done and where you are today? Um, I think, uh, thankfully, I've been blessed with some variety that, that has been offered to me. Uh, one can only do what is offered to them. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I'm just glad and grateful that filmmakers and uh, uh, producers can think of headlining film and shows with the, the kind of variety that uh, has been offered to me. I just feel grateful about that. Uh, must have earned some credibility over the years, uh, I would like to believe. And it's, it's like they say, it's, uh, you know, there is a value to um, compounding, mm. you know, uh, the fact that you've put in so much of effort and, and uh, all these years, it probably starts coming together for you. Uh, speaking about Bombay Meri Jan, I think it was four years back when I actually met Shujat for this and uh, we started working on it. Uh, he might not have felt that we would probably stop the shoot, but I went through this several times oh in my head because I felt, okay, maybe now it's happening. Oh, maybe not. It's not happening. Now again, it's happening. It's yeah, not happening. A yeah. uh, lot of stop and start. Uh, so you had a lot of emotional turmoil going through. Uh, sometimes I want to just sit down and assess the, the emotional graph that Dara Kadri has yeah. and the emotional <laughs> graph that Avinash Tiwari had while <laughs> shooting this. Uh, but now that we have completed it and mm. everyone has put in the kind of... You know, I, I would always say that maybe I thought that we are a pack of wolves and then realized that no, we are a pride led by this man uh, who has really kept us all together. We all go through because there's so many people on set uh, and we all goes, go through our own ups and downs, especially when there's a mm. start and stop for such a long period of time. But to keep them all together, feeling like a family, really believing that this is something special for everyone who's part of it, uh, I think I really need to stand up and uh, acknowledge this man because he's been able to do that for all of us. How lovely. Uh, and I really feel extremely pleased because it was a dream that uh, we saw that we could take this to a global stage. Mm. And this man here has <laughs> really been pushing it through and has made this possible now that we are having a global premiere. Yeah. So it's 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 a great feeling for me, honestly. That's I, I really lovely. Thank you, thank happy. you for yeah. the kind words. Uh, I, I, mean, feel like I think it's being too, <laughs> too kind. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like yeah. you're breathing a sigh yeah. of relief. It's absolutely yeah. that, it is. It you is. know what, I'll tell you, we all actually, none of us who are associated with the creative part of it knew that this material is so potent. Mm. But to be honest, the a lot of this credit, which you asked a very important question that because you know we shot for just about 15, 20 days. Yeah. And then the first that wave hit. And the set which was put up was for almost like a 60 day shoot. Oh. And then by the time the first wave went, the rains hit and yeah. we had to pull down the set. So a huge amount of that financial burden went on to Amazon mm. and full credit to their entire team, whether it's Aparna, Gaurav, all these guys, James, all of them, they just should, stood very strongly behind because I don't, I think it was somebody else mm. who said, listen, we've shot 20 days, we don't know when this is going to end, there's yeah. so much uncertainty, you want a set to be standing for the next six months. Yeah. I think what they also realized that they backed the material mm. and they didn't. So I think a lot of that credit goes. I think we would have never abandoned the show, mm. but if they would have, we would have seriously been in thinking, okay, now what do we do? Because yeah. it is a, a tough one, but yeah, so I think we have to acknowledge that. Yeah, no, and uh, that was going to be my question too. Like financially, like that, uh. there's a lot riding on it. Uh, with the stop and start situation but I think like you said you guys got through it so. yeah but you know I think all of us know one thing that the what we do mm. if you try to equate it to finance or you try yeah. to do it as a business you can't be here yeah because yeah it's it it is unpredictable right we all know that it's inherent nature is that you mm. can't predict whether you do a feature film or you yeah. do a series or you do anything will it touch people we all associate with it love it yeah so I think but that is a challenge we all know and it's it, it is it's inherent uh, problem, but we love it, right? Yeah, and yeah. we stand by it. So I don't think it's the money. Yes, that does come around, but I think if you have strong believers in it, yeah. they'll pull it through. No, of course, and I think excellent entertainment. And I say this a lot of the times on my radio show that you guys produce the best, best shows, the best movies. Like it's just quality stuff that we see. From, thank you, so you know, much. it's an excellent entertainment production. You know, it's going to be good. Well, that is fun. that is the standard that you oh, have set. You so Honestly, much. and I'm not just saying it because I'm here speaking to you guys. Today, no, no next time I hear your radio show, I hear anything else, I'll just call you up and say. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was in the recording. <laughs> no, no, thank you so no, much. No, no, so, no. We should be thanking you uh, for bringing such wonderful shows and different. It's different. The stuff yeah. we get from you guys is really different. Thank you. So, um, so thank you for that. But I mean, I just quickly back to you. Um, your character 
character. I mean, we see a lot of it in the trailer itself. I mean, yeah. I haven't seen the episodes as of yet, but explain <coughs> the actual, like, the crux of your character. Well, um, a man uh, turning into a monster mm. and uh, uh, in the, the social, political, geographical situations that he was born in, uh, a family uh, which is poor, so born into poverty, a man dealing with hunger, getting this desire to be, wanting to be a provider and protector of the family, uh, and until the, the greed of power hits him. Mm. Uh, it's the whole arc that uh, most actors would really give their left arm to, to do. Uh, also having to play a gangster along with it, because it's, uh, it's like a profession, that's how I look at it. Uh, and at the same time, the, the intricacies of the relationships in the family, the father-son conflict, um, we also explore escapism in, 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 uh, for in your responsibilities in your relationships, which, which are aspects which we don't really see in uh, gangster, mm -hmm. conventional gangster mm -hmm. films mm -hmm. uh, in India. So I, I really felt that this is something that would, uh, that would excite everyone who watches it. And uh, I hope it comes through. Uh, that's all I can say. And talk to me about your experience with KK Men, and I mean, what, what is he like to work with? I've, I've been a fanboy right from my uh, theater days. I, I saw him, uh, apart from his acting, I would always see him surrounded by women and I would be like, this is the man I want to be. And, and I would see, uh, I still remember there was an article saying an intelligent woman's man and you know, back in 2003, four, yeah. uh, and he was someone that you looked up to. Uh, the first day we met, we did a reading I still remember I didn't have the guts to go and talk to him because I felt he would be offended. He's having his own time. Yeah. Met him at the uh, theater show and I still didn't say hi to him after, the, after we had done the reading. <laughs> I think that kind of awkwardness between us, mm. um, and we maintained that through the shoot, <laughs> uh, has kind of come through in the show also, yeah. sir. Okay. You know, there's that relationship, yeah. there's yeah. The awkwardness. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and we kind of made use of it, yeah. both of us. Like we hardly spoke. Okay. We would sit next to each other, but maybe once in a while uh, and we've kept that and, and it's probably come through so maybe there's some honesty that you see between Dara Kadri and Ismail Kadri. Nice, well, that yeah. sounds really good. I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you so much uh, mm -hmm. for taking the time out okay. and having such a wonderful global premiere here uh, in London. It's much needed so thank you so thank much you. and thank good you. luck. Thank you. 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 Thank you.